representing our officials for this match. First referee, Miss Josie Del Rosario, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Dreamline Cool Smashers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number 12, Gia de Guzman. At number 6, Janet Panaga. In jersey number 7, Michelle Teresa Gamaba. Number 13, Celine Eliza Domingo. Number 18, Diana Mae Carlos. And number 23, Jessica Margaret Galanza. Starting libero is number 11, Kyla Liana Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. Calling on our Petrogas Angels. Let's begin with jersey number two, Janelle Welch Cheng. At number five, Gretchel Saltones. In jersey number eight, Isa Pontilias. Number nine, Mary Remy Joy Palma. At number 13, Mar Jana Phillips. And at number 20, Jonah Sabet. Starting libero wears number 18, Cien Mary Ariel Cruz. Head coach, Mr. Oliver Alan Almadro. Starting lineup for the team looking to rebound from its third place finish. In a reinforced conference, uh, cream line cool smashers. No surprises there, and I think not a lot of things will surprise us anymore in game number three, unless Eliza shows up, which is not going to happen. She's in uh, civvies. <laughs> Petrogas Angels, same thing. They will start with the same gang. Here's the uh, funny part about, so the last time we mentioned already that uh, Petrogas beat Cream line in the finals was in 2019. That was the reinforced conference. They were behind 0-1 in that series too, and they pulled off a comeback, so it's possible. And now Cream line wants to do the same thing and return the favor. These two teams, they like each other so much, don't they, Neil? They just want to battle all the way, almost all conferences. And this is the rivalry between the Petrogas Angels and the Cream line Cruise Masters. We've always said that it's always important to start strong, but today it's about having the finishing kick. First point in game number three, courtesy of the block, Remy Palma with a spectacular game number two, gets that point. She had a couple of very crucial service errors also in game number two. I'm sure they're gonna look at that. <laughs> What I like about Remy Palma is her discipline when it comes to blocking. Kahit malayo, nahahabulin pa rin niya to get a chance para makapag-rebound to set up her teammates. Oh, she did one, one of those na very crucial in game number one as Chema Galanza right in the middle pounds the pavement right away. Instant combination play there for the Cream Line Cool Smasher starting off with an excellent pass. Very easy for Gia de Guzman to pull the strings. Pag ganun yung pasa na naibibigay sa kanya and she will be crucial as she orchestrates the offense of the Cream Line 2 Smashers against a highly defensive team in Petrogas. Sabete, set back. On the second ball, Pontillas puts it away. Both teams only have a one goal in mind. Take it point by point. And as I said, it's going to be a bloodbath here today. Opening set pa lang. <laughs> you know, I had a conversation with the ticketing gang from the Mall of Asia Arena. They told me once they announced the selling of the tickets, 12 minutes sold out. 12 minutes, Neil. <laughs> this place is sold out. So we're going to fill up this place in just a bit. But first, 
It is Creamline getting the point to all. Strong hits against defensive sequences. Let's go to Freddy Reyes and check in with her. You know what, Boom? The Petrogas Angels admitted to me that after game two, they were a little sad, but that only lasted about 30 minutes because they knew that if Creamline didn't make them work for it, then that's not the Creamline that they prepared for. These girls are veterans, and I got a little insight to their game plan in the dugout. They need to hustle on defense, they need to organize on the block, and they need to attack aggressively because they want to make Gia de Guzman work for it. I would love to get your thoughts on that. But let's go back to the game. Thank you very much, Franny. This one's going to go out, Jonas Sabente. But you're right, Franny. And if you did not expect a fight back from Greenline, then you're just fooling yourself. Uh, they were going to fight back. We got a set five, which was, you know, something we expected. One notable stat that I noticed was the limited production of Jonas Sabete and Getschel Sultanes in game number two. They only combined for 18 points. Yeah. Even si Phillips, yeah. Yeah. boom about from 14 to 10. Janelle Cheng, who averaged 6.5 points in the whole playoffs. That means semis and the first two games. Here in the finals uh, for, for her, four, sorry, she's averaging four points. What an offensive yeah. setter. Janelle Cheng is one of the low-key setters here in the PVL. Sobrang chill lang. Kahit na overpass yung bomb set niya, sobrang kontrolado. And that gives them additional options of the attack. Three all is our score. Bomb set to Tots. Cross court. Cruz was there. Gia reverses. Pumalik at lumabas. And Coach O says it's okay. That's the game plan. At this point of the competition, we threw out the stats, throw out the numbers. It's about the intangible, it's about hunger, the desire to win. And we expect this to be a tight ball game, just like game number two. Yeah, if there are any adjustments of teams, they're very small adjustments. Na lang, ano, Neil. It's more execution, na talaga, proper execution. Especially in a series. Dug up. They send it over. Good reaction, good reflexes! Oh. And Janelle Cheng scores <laughs> her second point here in game three. That's what I said. She's very relaxed, composed, you don't feel any pressure. And she is so good with her forearms. Neil, you always see this, that she always has a reaction. Dina <laughs> Nagugula. Two out of the four points coming from Janelle Cheng. Another chance here for the red shirts. Kretzel disguising it well. Five, four, Petrogas. They've gone up against each other multiple times already, not just here in the All Filipino Conference. So I'm sure familiar na sila sa loro ng isat isa. But again, if you still have cards to pull under your sleeves, now is the time to do so. In that last rally of the Cream Light Pool Smashers in game number two, you saw a clutch running hit from I Ted said. Domingo. And that will be the additional arsenal of Cream Light coming into today's game. And it was such a long run, too, which we rarely see from Seth. Long rally here. Said. Baba! Nahuli! Fox Carlos, again, showing that now she is evolving. Offense, defense, receiving, blocking, her reading is better. And there was no power on that yeah. hit from Remy Palma. The set was too low. Fox Carlos. <laughs> Averaging 18.5 here in the finals. 19.5 if you include the semis. Open to Gretzo. Great defense by Creamline. Transitioning into offense. <laughs> Powerful hitting from Gemma Galanza after a combination play from the middle to start the opening set. This time she returns to that left pin. And deals damage to the defense of the Petrogas Angels. 6-5. Kaya nga sinasabi natin na blocking is important, but 
Rebounding, delaying, soft blocks, those are as important, especially with these two teams who are such great counter attackers. Up and away. It was a higher set coming from Cheng, papunta sa left pin, and we're used to seeing her dish out low pass setting. Sometimes when you give a high ball, that's enough time for the double block to get established. Now for the Petrogas Angels, now is the time for them to actually split the blockers on the Bulls Smashers if they want to get this next point. 3-0 run, Neil. Running attack. That is the right play. When you have two attackers in the front line, that is your best option. A slide attack to the pinakadulo near the antenna, and then a set to the left pin. Outside hand. Cheng, six serving seven. Make that six serving eight. Technical timeout time. We will be back. Well, we showed this in uh, game number two when the father of Gretzel Sultana surprised her. She didn't know he was going to be in attendance. She came out, tears of joy, obviously. She would have loved to win the championship that day in front of her parents, in front of her father, but it wasn't meant to be. But that doesn't dampen the occasion and the reunion of Gretzel and her father. I'm sure a lot of family members are here today. Whose side will be celebrating? We'll find out in a couple of hours. Maybe maybe three, I don't know. <laughs> Game one was three hours. Sen also had a few errors in game number one in terms of her service. But she has been ultra consistent for Creamline. 14 and 14 in the finals. Games one and game two. If you include the semis, her average is 11. All in double figures for Seth Domingo. Nice chase there by Gretzel. Overpass. Great sturdy hands for Soltones on the chase. Well, in recent history, I would say this is probably one of the best final series that we had. I mean, most of the sets, the talaga exchanging points. You know that the girls want it. Actually, Neil, I talked to a couple of girls this morning and yesterday, and some of them have said this is the highest quality that they've experienced in, in the finals in the PBL because of the exchanges, and we cannot disagree. That's the third point of Gemma Galanza here in the open, except coverage was there for the Bulls Bashers. On the second try, Gemma Galanza gets another point. 9-8. Speaking of quality, what a conference for Gia de Guzman. Good target for Nang Aiza. And you cannot question the fact that she will always be reliable in games like this. You know, big games, crucial stages of the set. Just the high volleyball of IQ. Nang isang nang ay zamay do Pontillas. And the experience, the years of experience has brought her here. And feeling of the crowd on her side or against her. Sanayin 
Michelle, Bono is there, just did not control it. And that is the power of Mitch Gumabo, which had having a sensational all-Filipino conference, actually her run from the latter part of the Invitational to the Open, to the Philippine team. And then now, this conference. Best conference for Michelle Gumabo, especially in the attacking department. Question, no question. Somebody touched the net, a green line player. There was a net infraction, and now we're tied at 10 apiece. No challenges yet. As expected, tug of war here in the early goings. It's either Panaga or Tox. Yes. Net shaking there. Just on the left of the back. Gia opens. Tox. Finds a crack in that wall. The best option for Gia the Guzman when it comes to broken plays. You can just give it to Tox Carlos. And she has a higher chance of actually breaking the block because of that force that she has. Thoughts, of course, playing an outside hitter here. And you know, some people, maybe casual fans, will say, oh, it's the same thing. She's just in the left pin. She's still doing the same things. Neil, what is different about Thoughts Carlos's role as an outside hitter? It's a very different <laughs> role. They are wings fighters. But when you the left pin, you have a responsibility. Defensively, you have to receive. And that is the priority of an outside hitter. And if you are there in the right pin, usually you're there to block and go for combination plays. That's why it's not as easy as saying, oh, she just transferred to the left, she just transferred to the, to the right. There are nuances to those moves. 12-10 is the score. Running attack. MJ Phillips. So far, her first point of the match. She only also had 10 points in game number two, down from 14 in game number one. The strength of MJ Phillips in that middle blocker position would be your athleticism. The upsetting combat lift. Even with a vertical jump, she can go for a differential quick attack. Skyline D0 tempo. Nakaibabaw siya dun sa blocking ng right. game line. I also like her disposition, Neil, knowing that hindi naman siya veterano dito sa PBL ng finals, ano? Pero nahahawa din siya dun sa mga kasama niya. And I think we have a challenge here. This will be the first challenge of the match. It is. Here in set number one. I usually have a question, Neil. Warning na kita. Some challenges. I did it with Ish and with our other partner, Pauline. Some some things that we dig up from maybe the history of these uh, two teams. So we mentioned the 2019 conference. Bapalikan natin yung mamaya sa ating second challenge. But first, it is in right at the corner. Hitting that right <laughs> part of the end line. And Jonas Sabete was really sure he saw that ball drop last second. Neil Pina practice for sure. That is a target. That's been a target since uh, game one. And kahit sino yung nasa zone one, that has been the consistent target of the Petrogas Angels, and they've had a lot of success in that. Stopped by Cruz. Sultanes will give a free ball. That, that's another thing. We don't see a lot of free balls in yeah. this series. Neil, they, this is how good these two teams are. The free ball, para mortal sin sa kanila. Yeah, definitely. It was a missed opportunity for the Cool Slasher. Sometimes when you know that you're going to get a free ball, nagbabadale yung mga attackers pumunta dun sa combination play. And they tend to forget that the first thing you have to do is to put that ball up ng proper height para makapag-isip si Gia mm. de Guzman mm. kung kanino niya ibibigay yung set. Kaya nga sinasabi ni Sherwin minsan sa timeout, di ba? Itaas lang! Itaas lang! That's a 3-0 run. Make that a 4-0 run. Neil helped by the tape of the net. Heavy serving was missing in game number two for the Petrocast Angels. But right now, they already have two aces. First 
timeout by Coach O, and then now Coach Sherwin with the first timeout also for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Petrogas in the lead, 14 to 12 is our score. And Jonas Abete will continue to serve. The Vina Vicentos are in attendance, and Suriki is also in attendance here for Petrogas. Someone you saw earlier, he's been here since game number one. They finally break that run. 4-1. Right now, green line has a better passing formation. But like over the goat in training. Four points for Carlos. He scored 20 and 17 in games one and two, respectively. That's out for Mitch. The two smashers have to be careful about their errors. I remember in set number four, they had the two costly unforced errors. That's why it reached a decider set. Buti na lang, na ipanalo nila yung fifth set na yon. But again, uh, crucial errors of the latter stages of that set. Your timing the errors you be getting. Fox runs, We're pushing. MJ gives it to Gretzel. Gretzel goes for the high hands. Nalunod! She said, 16-13, Petrogas takes over the technical timeout lead. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Capacity crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena. And that's just going to swell. And today you can see all the way till the top. And I'm sure that number is still going to go up by the time we hit the third and fourth set. Marami Pan stuck in traffic. But we heard, I was told, sold out in 12 minutes after the release of the tickets. And the people outside who are still outside the Mall of Asia Arena are still waiting for standing room only tickets. Yeah. So, maraming salamat. You guys are the lifeblood of the premier volleyball league, the heart of volleyball. At sulit naman ang punta nila dito on a Thursday evening. 15, make that 16, 13. It's a 7-1 run, Neil. The wall of the angels being put up by Remy Palma and uh, Cheng. Which worked for them in game number one so much. And that's the thing, pag alam ng Petrogas, the out of system na yung clean line, there's a high percentage chance na pupunta si Gia de Guzman kay Tots Carlo. So that will give them time to actually set up their backward defense. Mapabagal lang nila yung bola on that first touch. Right. Ang bilis ng transition nila kapunta sa offense naman. Neil, pag ganyan lang 48 hours yung Ano mo, no? You have 24 hours to recover physically. What's the priority? Well, first of all, you have to recover. Mm -hmm. We don't want any cramps, any injuries coming to Game 3. Because all of these starters have a crucial role to play for their respective teams. Right. And uh, like you said a while ago, it's going to be about execution. Coach O will not toy around and press the timeout button right away. Lead is down to two. Okay, again, you read now, 
Kuya ng Dadanal, ma'am, dito na yung bola eh. So, yung gagawin na lang talaga yan. Huwag mo lang kumuha dito. Nandito naman si Jonah eh. Half ka dito. Half ka dito. Dito ka half. Okay. Again, 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 again. We have an advantage. One, two, three, six. One point of the patience. Patience, get one. Patience, get one. I've been saying this uh, all series long, and even in the semifinals, these two teams, kahit iwanan mong walang coach, <laughs> they can coach each other, and that's no disrespect to their coaches, that's just how they good, good they are, both of them, they can all teach each other, tell each other instructions, but obviously they have also some brilliant coaches with them. It's also about accountability, and uh, that's the reason why they're here, I mean, you're open, to instructions given to you, not just by your coaches, but also to your team, and that's why we are competing here in the finals. And now the Petrogas Angels has a comfortable three-point lead against the Cool Smashers. Part of the job of the coach also is to call these timeouts at the perfect moment, and both have done that so far. Sherwin called the timeout, got a point back. Coach O did the same. There's Cheng again with her reaction. Soltonas deep cross. Atienza was there to dig. And Gemma swings into the net. She wanted to target zone number one. Dun sa swing palang nakita mo na that she wanted to go for a down the line hit. But you, when you want to go to that angle, kailangan at the highest point mo ko hunin eh. This is uh, again the biggest lead of the match. It is matched here at number four. Four points rather. What an orthodox dig of Janelle Cheng. It's just has keep, uh, kept them alive in rallies. Good reaction there by Seth. Another block. Another kill. And another point for Petra Naps. That's her focus. Remy Palma just guarding the net. Kahit na yung wing spikers na yung makakuha ng puntos as long as she gets she gets these defensive touches, they will be in a good position. Biggest lead of set number one. So, pag dito mo sinet ka, masasalubong talaga ni Maiso. Kung may receive, eh, kung hindi mo basta ito yung Maiso, dahil dito ako sa dapat ka. Kasi para nang sinubo natin dito. Kung gusto mo naman i-score si Selene, dahil dito ka. Okay? Dito tayo. Okay? Malayo pa yan. Let's go! Dreamline trying to stall Petrogas here in games number one and number two. Neil Petrogas has won the first set. Whether they want the match or not, it is Petrogas that fires the first salvo in this final series. They're looking to keep it that way. 2015, that floats out. Another good timeout by yeah. Coach Sherwin. Both, both coaches spot on with their timeouts. Nice and DJ Cheng on the service line. Right now, Freeline has to fortify their coverage behind the wing spikers. Because Petrogas has already tied four kill blocks here in the opening set. Remember, they only had eight right? in uh, the converted ones in game two. Must receive. Chance ball. Gia goes to Pans. Good reaction by Cruz. Gemma! Lead is down to three. Two quick replies. Nabawe, you error earlier by targeting the offhand of Isa Maiza Pontilia. Petro, solid receive, gets it back, goes down the line. Ruby Seed, Pumalo, Ruby score. That's the goal of outside hitters. You get a good pass, but you also go for a convincing approach. I've said this in game number one and game number two, and since you're here, Neil, how about a healthy Petro Sultanis finally in this conference? Aside from the setters, outside hitters, yung pinakapagod din. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi ginagawa nila lahat. 
It's a bad man. Too hard on the press. Let's look at that again. Jimmy Guzman dishing out a single blocker. He got Remy Palma confused in that play. 18, serving 21. Cheng to Sabete, oh. deep cross. What is her third point? What a hit from Jonah Sabete. That was already a broken play, but she was still able to target that deep cross court. Sabete, 7.6 in the preliminaries, Neil. And then in the playoffs, 14.4. All in all, in the finals, 14 points. She has doubled her production when it mattered the most. Mitch answers back. Too much pop on that one. So that there was already far from that ball. It was uh, Remy Palma's zone to guard. But she was caught flat-footed. Team line trying to catch up here in the opening set. They're still down by three points to the Angels. Deep pointing Sagutan lang, Neil. They're down three. Biggest lead is five. Phillips! Box. Delayed by the net. Cruz will send it to Aiza. One more chance for Petro. Aiza again! To take there by Gemma. Rejected off the net! Five kill blocks for the Petrogas Angels here in set number one. But there will be a challenge on the side of Coach Sherwin. A net touch infraction will be challenged against one of the blockers of the Angels. We're inside the ball of Asia Arena. Second challenge of the match. It's <laughs> intense moment. As expected. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And earlier, it was a successful challenge, by the way, by Coach O on the ball in, ball out challenge. This one is a net touch. We're looking at it right now on the block. Voila. Sa pagbaba, wala rin. That was a clean kill block from Jonas Sapete. Now Petrogas is two points away from getting the opening set. Double sub here for Coach Oliver Almagra Chisa and, and Marian Buitre coming in. Uh, Buitre has been, yeah. you know, so good off the bench for, for Petrogas. In the few moments that she's played, she has played her role to perfection here. Chisa so, looking for more championships under her belt. <laughs> <laughs> she will send to a full front line of Sapete, Buitre, and Phillips, but they will be on defense. Uh, screen line looks to attack, courtesy of Mitch. Off by hands. 20 will be serving 23. That's the good thing about screen line. Mabilis lang din yung recovery time nila. When Petrogas gets a point, Look at that adjustment there from Michelle Gumabao. This time targeting the fingertips of Jonas Abete after getting blocked the first time. Now Risa Sato will be serving for the Cool Smashers. Very accurate server for Green Line. Phillips in the middle. The dive by Gia. But they could not get the second ball up, which brings up set point number one. Chisa had a gutsy set, kakapasok lang niya, but short slide attack immediately to MJ Phillips. That was a good first ball coming from the Guzman, but there was no follow-up from the rest of the Bulls smashers. Four set points. Set back. And just like game one and two, Petrogas Angels take set. Number one. Defense is the name of the game for the Petrogas Angels. Now they get first blood against the Green Light Blues Masters. 
It is game number three. It is live right here at the SM Ball of Asia Arena. Twenty-five, twenty, thirty-four 34 minutes, set number one. And as I mentioned, all the set number ones have belonged to the Petrogas Angels. What did you see in set one, Neil? Set number one, it was just the defense of the Petrogas Angels clinching the opening set. Five monster blocks against the Creamline Cool wow. Smashers. And some of the kill blocks of Petrogas, hindi naman mabalis yung balik eh. May enough time pa sana yung Creamline to actually recover. But medyo mabagal yung follow-up ng mga defenders sa likod ng attacker. That is why Petrogas got a high number in the defensive sequences that they had. And for Creamline, passing was good, I would say. Right. A couple of lapses lang, right. they were able to attack the defense. But again, for me, it's all about the defense when you are in that winner-take-all game. 13 attacks for Creamline compared to the 12, so dikitan lang talaga sila dyan. But when it comes to the blocking department, Petrogas scored three more, and Petrogas served better also. They registered two service aces. Ang maganda dun sa set number one natin, you see that these teams ginagapang every Ooh, single right, point. Right, no right. number of errors for both of these teams, and we know na sometimes they can be error-prone, but I guess that's part of the game but, plan. Let's play it clean right. and improve on the different skill sets that we have. Well, of all the sets that were played, only once did a team get into double figures in terms of errors, and that was uh, uh, Creamline at hit 10. But mostly it was at 5, 6, mataas na yung 8. So it's been great volleyball in the yeah. finals. The blocking and serving, that's really the weapon against attacking teams, yeah. and especially uh, fast attacking teams like Creamline. If you can get the blocks, the rebounds, the soft blocks, and if you can serve heavy so that hirap yung kanilang initial attack, which was, by the way, the problem in game number one, that yung initial attack, yung first attack in Creamline was, was really prevented by Petrogas. You can see that also in the numbers. Game one, nanalo ang Petrogas. They had more attacks compared to Creamline. Yo, Baliktad naman for the first in game time number in the two. Yeah. Neil, you're right. That was the very first time that the team outscored the Creamline in the match statistics. But all of that is water under the bridge. It is time for set two for game number three. Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores, Franny Reyes, Derek Alneri in charge. And at the helm of this live and exclusive coverage of the PVL All Filipino 2023. And it begins, set two does, with a Petrogas point off an attack error from Gemma Galanza. That was another broken play. That's the most difficult set to hit. The bomb set galing sa likod requires on point timing. Cheng gets us going for this rally. Pinabawi, kagad. You, you knew that was coming, yeah. right? <laughs> and she was very comfortable in hitting combination plays from the middle. And dami niyang pwedeng puntahan doon compared to the left pin, where she is actually pressured or forced to go a certain way. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the combination play from the middle, dahil nagko-commit nga sa middle blocker ng cream line at gumagana yung decoys nila, mas nagiging effective right. si Gemma Galanza. Bumawi, kagad. Remy Palma, the quick. 
in between the sets, it was Eliza Valdez who was taking charge of the set break kanina. No? Neil Lee was the one really giving instructions, telling them, settling down the team. What a luxury for Coach Sherwin to have Eliza Valdez there. As you see, this one-handed set dug up by Cruz. Double contact violation for Chen. That was the right call. Even Chen knew that it was a violation. Nagreklamo pa nga si Coach O saglit eh. Pero waved off by our first referee, Jocelyn Del Rosario. Two off. Biggest lead of set number one was five. And that belonged to Petrogas. Let's check in right back with Franny Reyes. Boom, I heard you said that Eliza took control before the set started, and I actually got to listen in on what she said. She highlighted coverage as something that they need to improve and show, especially against the blockers of the Petrogas Angels. Now, GMO Rado de Guzman also had some reminders. She told them that they ng gigil. They're getting ahead of themselves and they need to calm down and refocus so that they can show the defense that they worked on in practice. Now, this is going to be a close game. So let's see if the Creamline Cool Smashers were able to, in fact, regroup as they try to get their next point, or get their next point, rather. Which they just did, courtesy of Caloy. That's Carlos with another one, her fifth point in four attacks. She has one block to her name, too. There's Eliza Valdez. Neil, we've known her for a long time, we've seen her play. She's never rattled, she's ne talking about Eliza, she's never nervous. Pero pag nakaupo doon, kabatong kabatong, tensionado, tensionado si Eliza. With that being said, uh, Dream Lions scores, scores their first block point, courtesy of Ascent Domingo. I was about to say, that Todd Carlos would uh, always get the numbers, especially in the final series. But said Domingo and uh, Pax Panaga need to actually match the output of MJ Phillips and Ren Palma because right now, Phillips and Palma has been more productive compared to the duos of uh, Cream Line. Panaga is averaging 6.6 in the finals, while Domingo is averaging 14. She had 14 and 14 in games one and two for Palma. She is averaging 12 points in the finals, 11 in the playoffs, and then Phillips, we mentioned earlier, 12 points here in the finals. Back to Tots. Oh, nakita niya yung hiwalay ng block. Small crack. <laughs> she was able to pound that ball hard. Look at this. Look at where that ball goes through. Look at that. That little gap. And that is not luck, ladies and gentlemen. That's repetitions, more repetitions. Good, good intention by Cheng, but a little overcooked. 6 4 is the score. Now, Creamline is serving heavier compared to Petrogas. That might be the deciding factor here in game number three. Kung sino ang mas matibay sa service line, sila yung makakuha ng advantage over the reception of the other team. Who knows what's going to be the deciding factor, Neil, between these two teams. It's just so tough to tell. There's really very little margins of error. There's two high-quality teams. 5 serving 6. Gia, running attack by Sen! Skits off the arms of Isa. The new wrinkle by Creamline. Remember, she had the last three points in that fifth set in game number two. One was a long running attack. In game number two, one was a long running attack. And... We we'll always see Seth Domingo going for A quicks or B quicks. Yes. So the fact that she has added that slide attack, mapa short man or long. Yeah, yeah. It's players getting better and players, players evolving. 
Lord Touch already on that one to play of DJ Cheng. We will always get one. <laughs> At least one. At para kay Cheng, Neil, that is her fourth point of the match already. That is her average. One thing I noticed kay Cheng is that she doesn't go to jump sets a lot and that it gets right. the cream line defenders confused. Speaking of confusion, Naitago di Java Galanza, yung kanyang off speed. 8-6 is the score. We will be back. Back inside the jam, back ball of Asia Arena, all the way to the rafters. Ang dami nanonood dito at mas marami pang nanonood. Sa kami kanilang tahanan, tweeting us, uh, Neil, mauna ka na. Danelli says... Both teams are deserving of the championship, which is why we have Game 3 now. One thing's for sure though, we are about to witness yet another quality match. Sana all nasa arena. Pero if you're not in the arena, suerte pa rin. And you! Pauline Gaston mentioned Rafa Nadal last time, and it's really an Isa Maizo Pontillas, the very Rafa, both Southpaw legends. Yeah, she mentioned that for said Domingo, pero tama rin, dahil si Isa meron din whip yung kanyang wrist action. Ano, as Romar Inoselda says, both teams have like spectacular players. Labanan na lang talaga to ng puso. Let's go, green line. And as uh, Neil said, the intangibles are going to be important here as Remy with a short slide cuts the lead down to one. Now both offense patterns of Jia De Guzman and DJ Cheng are very similar. Their middle blockers can go for slide attacks. The outside hitters can go for combination plays in the middle. And they also have options for that pipe attack. Yeah, parang match made in heaven itong Petro guys. And the green line here in the All Filipino Conference. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Mitch again. Isa. Oh, what a deep cross. Mitch again for the third time. Green line maintaining some distance. 9 7. Petrogaz will not challenge that block touch. He will let that go. Because it really hit the hands of Remy Palma. Tumama muna sa tape bago tumama sa four arms ni Remy Palma. Back in the day, baka wala na yun. I'm glad we have corrected that already. Overpass. One more time for Isa. Touch. Back set. Dug up. Oh, I think Remy. He snatched the net and got the one for the and it says, no, 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 no. The <laughs> halong giggle from Remy Palma. Yup, it was definitely her who touched the tape of the net. Look at her, wagging the finger. This is a three-point lead already, 10 to 7. Just like in set number one, they are behind again by three this time. 
Sha Behag. Oh, that family actually, the husband and the son, are all here. Oh, what a comeback for her. She has she played more than what she expected. I talked to her, and she she wasn't expecting that much. She was still building her body up. At all. Great to have her back here in the PVL. And congratulations, F2, who will be awarded the bronze medal after this game number three a little later on. In the meantime, umakyat na sa apat ang kalamangan ng Greenline Cool Smashers. Miss you there on the side of the center of Petrogas and Remy Palma wanting to go for a big quick attack. Check it now. Gemma was there, could not keep it up. A fire extinguisher for the Petrogas Angels. Aizamais the Pontilla, who has been checked a couple of times here in the second set. But she gets past the double block of Todd Carlos and Banks Panaga in that last rally. So it will be Gretzel Sultanis. Eight, serving 11. Biggest lead was five for Petrogas in the first set. Biggest lead is four for Queen Line here in the second. It's Mamba is averaging 19.5 points here in the finals. That is mind blowing. 17.8 if you include the semifinals, which is still 18 points throughout the playoffs. Heavy contributions from Michelle de Mamba, and now they're getting Petrogas out of system. Oh! That was a perfect setup from Greenline, but there was a net violation. Masyado ng Miguel said Domingo knew that she was in possession to take that point. That whip there, that whip just went through the net. Lead is still three, though. What a match. What a matchup. There is no position on these teams that may weak link, you know. I mean, yes, there will be errors, of course, here and there. But to call it a weak link, there's yeah. no such thing That's for these two teams. Correct, I do agree. It's a matter of forcing your opponents to commit these errors, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're the weakest link right. on the floor. Right. Ten serving twelve. Eight seconds to serve after the referee blows the whistle. A nice soft cut by Seth. Can't fire defense on the side of the Petrogas Angels. Nice pullback there. That Phillips and Seth Domingo matchup is also very tasty. Lead is three again. Back to two. And she has a lot of power in those hands. Sometimes too much. <laughs> the adrenaline of Michelle Gumab contributing to that service error. Again, feel like taking control in the attacking department. And right now, they have more kill blocks compared to the Petrogas Angels. So, Malik Ambola. Malik Ay Tots. Ay Tots puts a little more juice on that one. She will consistently change her angles until makahanap siya ng butas dun sa depensa ng Petrogas. This time she targeted the right hand of Cheng, na mas malapit dun sa antenna. I was just about to say, Neil, how hard is that for an attacker? It's just target practice. Cruz, perfect first ball. Good reaction by Seth. But a chance ball if he begay dito sa Petrogas. They go to MJ. Too much angle. Right idea, but too much angle. So a miss hit. There have been connection issues here in the second set between Cheng and her middle blockers. The lead is back to four. That is the highest of set number two. Cruz again. Papa Bawian. Good reaction by Cheng. 
Isa. Chia. Open. Drexel is there. Chang chases. Sabet, they unable to finish the point. Kalanza unleashes. 16-11. Technical timeout here in game three. Watch Gilas Filipinas on August 25 or August 27 or and or August 29. Be entitled to watch the other game scheduled on that date at the Araneta Coliseum. Get your Gila State Pass now. Limited passes available by now. Troy Rosario, who is a former volleyball player, I was told. Always in attendance, thank you. I know Diego Dario always watches us also. East 16-11 is our score here in set number two. Five-point lead, that matches the five-point lead of Petrogas from set one. Right now, team like attacking is at 40% compared to the 27% of the Petrogas Angels. But they have been uh, giving away a couple of free points to the side of the Angels. Do have a little cushion. Not big, but it's a little cushion. Twelve serving sixteen. Gretzel saw that coming. Galanza adjusting by Major Mababa. Right now the hackers of the team like Blue Flash is just targeting Cheng on the block. They're trying their best to avoid MJ Phillips on that cross court hit. So it's either Dunsa Seam or sa fingertip ni DJ Cheng to mata yung bola. Seventeen serving twelve. Isa. Good dig there. Overhead dig. Panaga. Yep, there was a touch on the net. Net violation that uh, Brecha and Soltanes. Now this is the biggest lead of the two matches here in this entire match at six. Biggest lead of either team actually now. Wala na, hindi na marinig yung pito, Neil. That's why they didn't stop. What an atmosphere today, as expected. 18 serving 12. That's going to bounce out. Teltonis gets a point. Uh, Petrogat is trying to get their act together. They're still trailing by five points. Well, what's the difference, Neil, of this set compared to the first one so far? It's just the efficiency of the attacking of the Bull Smashers. And again, they na silang kill block. Wala pa yung Petrogas. So that was their game plan. Yung mga Outside hitters ng Team 9 Cool Smashers after set number one. Alam na nila kung paano nila pwede atakihin yung depensa ng Angels. Two straight points. Timeout, cream line. Lead down to four. Thank you. 
major Six was the biggest lead, down to two. Make that down to four after the 2 0 quick run. Mika Lili is in attendance, of course, from Signal TV. To his right, that's Miss Holly Reyes, who will be representing F2, of course. Cheng opens up to Sol. Oh, oh she puts it away! The most solid hit so far for Lady Beast. The 3 0 run and six points for Gretzel. Clean hit for Gretzel Sultan is yeah. there. Bangs Padaga just a little bit late to close up. Cross court. Pabawi and Sipanaga. Softened by the block. Palike Gretzel. This time, up speed line. The run continues. 4 0. Confidence is sky high for Gretchen Sultanis. And you can see the flow in her game right now from receiving to coverage, transitioning to her attacks. And nag-iisip talaga siya. She always thinks about her options before committing. Well, speaking of flow, Neil, yung 4 0 run, hey, Gretchen, lahat. Yeah. Gemma, set back. Gia, back to Gemma. Oh! Return to sender! <laughs> Petrogaz not get out of the second set. Remy Palma getting another block. 5 0 run, and they're right back in it. Kill block from Remy Palma and four points from Gretzel Sultanes. Make it 17-18. Uh, Two timeouts already called by Coach Sherwin. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, when he scored 2 0, and now a one point deficit. Mimi Ya always here to support Philippine volleyball. Combination. Phillips found. Gia counters. Cheng. Gretchen Ulit! Chi has turned it up. Here in set two, and we're tied. Sultanes on fire here in the second set. Substitution on the side of Primline. Riza Sato coming in for Pang Panaga. And right now, every time dalawa lang yung attacker ng Primline sa harapan, dito sila tumatagal sa rotation na to. So again, they do have to get that one stop. Because when they have three attackers mm, right. in the front line, that's the time they actually get points. Oh, nobody, nobody home! Nobody home! That's her comfort zone. That combination play time and time again. Gemma Galanza going up high. 6 1. Ang ating run, we were at 12 18. <laughs> what a wild series this is. 18 for Petrogas, 19 for Creamline. Oh, Atienza saw that. Mitch. Sent back by Remy. Sakasan! Remember, Lisa Sato used to start for Cream Line. That was something she did regularly for them. 
for the coaching staff of both teams, it is vital to put in the right athletes on the floor at the, that right certain time. point in time. 2-0 run after the 6-0 run of Petrogas. Overpass! Alive! And it's in the Petrogas side. Palike Gretzel. Oh! No entry! A 6-0 run answered by a 3-0 run. Kyla Jensen once again sweeping the floor for Green Line. People are still doubting that these are legitimate rivals. I mean, you can cast those doubts aside because these two teams are just going at it. Sir Alan Lacero, Rubisco, also supporting the cool smashers. And Ramon Villa Vicencio in the meantime also in the building. For both teams, Creamline and Petrogas. Dug up. Counter. Oh, miscommunication, but it's still alive. What an adjustment on the side of Gretzel Soltonis, the Kahagunure defenders, the Petrogas Angels. Wow. Minds open. Presence of mind. By both presence of mind by both Isa and Gretzel amidst the confusion on defense. That's just muscle memory. Ino nga eh, wala na hindi na natitinag yung mga tao dito yung mga players eh. Back set. Thought stops it. Kalansa. High hands. Cheng will go to the other side. Dikit. Cheng will try again. The swipe doesn't work. Atienza saw it. Galanza. Oh! Unloads! <laughs> 11 points for that woman on your screen. Gemma Galanza with that no look down the line hit. She's averaging 17.5 in the final. She's already at 11. Six of them coming here in this set. And she's on deck to serve with a three-point lead. <laughs> Triple block. Malusutani Aiza. Mitch. Cruz. Hopefully she's okay. Looks like she's okay. <laughs> A for effort though from Cruz, but that point will go to the Cool Smashers and they are two points away. The tough job of the Libero. Tinulak <laughs> way. She had more momentum because of that push Ay, from Jonas Abete. Eh. Nag-guilty, eh. nag-guilty si Jonas. <laughs> but she's still massaging that kneecap of hers and hopefully she'll be okay. The lead is four, make that three. Keeping the window open for Petragas here. Have we seen Jelly Tempiatura today? I don't think so. It has been Cruz for most of the rallies here on the side of Petrogas. But there is a substitution. Chi Saet will be replacing DJ Cheng with a three-point deficit. Tots targeted. Sato rejected. 
Back set to Mitch. Off the blocker's hands. And we are at set point. The Cream Line fans just up on their feet. You can hear their voices echo inside the Ball of Asia Arena. Four set points. And they don't need all of them. All they needed was a serve from Risa Sato. That substitution did wonders for Coach Sherwin Menezes and the rest of the cool smashers. Aside from the offense provided by Risa Sato, the energy that she gives to the team, to and the that crowd. Service <laughs> ace. To the team and to the crowd, Neil. 25-20 for Petrogas, 25-20 for Ghoul Smashers. It is as good as advertised. Are we still shocked, Neil, that we are tied here in uh, game number three? <laughs> Definitely not. Same <laughs> numbers now, just like set number one. 25 to 20, this time in favor of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Substitutions being made by our coaching staff. And nakita naman natin quality dividends na nakuha nila with the injection of Risa Sato. As we take a look at the highlights of set number two, this time, I would say that the middle blockers got involved on the side of Creamline. Gia de Guzman again running these combination plays, providing that advantage against the Petrogas Angels. Petrogas had that run care of Gretchen Soltone. 6 0. But Naputol lang ng Cool Smashers yung momentum. Petrogas. Uh, Sinagot ng 3 0, Neil. They had enough fire to end that second set 25 to 20. Well, cause for concern here from the Petrogas side. Well, two things. One, they were icing uh, the kneecap of uh, Cien Cruz, obviously, from that collision that she had earlier. Uh, as we look at the numbers here. Also, they're attending to Isa Maizo Pontillas here at the side. Maybe about her cramps, we'll see. The way, the smell of the spray that I, I can smell here at the side. Probably that's what's uh, going on. But we'll get an update for sure from Franny Reyes later. But first, most of the numbers actually came from the attacks of the Cool Smashers in set number two. 16 mm. compared to the 11 for the Petrogas Angels. And uh, Petrogas actually committed more errors compared to Creamline. Creamline was able to limit theirs to six. Parang nung first set lang again, ayaw nilang tumapak sa double digits because they know that they can outscore the Angels in the attacking department. So, as expected, we are at level again. As you see there, the spray on both Isa, Maiza Patinas, and the Patinaren, Sian Cruz. Marco Gumaba. Of course, the brother of Mitch in attendance at the Mall of Asia Arena, part of this massive, massive crowd that's here for game number three. Look at that sight. It's a thing of beauty. And we're glad you're with us. For those who are not here, watching us on One Sports, One Sports Plus, on the Signal Play app and the Smart Live Stream app. We begin with a service error courtesy of Creamline. Babantayan natin 
yung uh, physical side of this match because Neil, by this time, game three, a day apart lang yung mga laro. It is a war of attrition now. Pati bahay na lang din ng stamina for yeah. the players on the floor. No doubt about it. This set number three will be pivotal for either team. Mitch had to adjust there. Mukhang mali yung set ano niyo, tama ba yung tingin ko? That's two unforced errors yeah. for Cream Line. There's a little collision at the net with Mitch and Isa, and they apologize to each other. Those touchy moments of knees touching there at the net. Set number two. Uh, Sultan has had nine attack points. Correct. Gemma, though, coming into set number three with 12 points. And they continue to go to her. Talks in the middle. Good reaction there. Palita na naman. Gia back set to Mitch. Cheng. Sabete is denied. No confidence on the side of the Petro guys. Angels, everybody was just standing behind Jonas Sabete. So they're sticking with Risa Sato right here to start set number three. Gemma, one serving two. 11 points so far. Isa with a miss hit. No touch. Let's check in with Franny Reyes and find out if we have uh, an update on Isa Maiza Pontillas. Go ahead, Franny. Well, boom, Isa Maiza Pontillas is in fighting form. There's nothing much to say other than that this is game three and they know what the stakes are and they're more than ready to battle it out. Now, before the third set, one of Coach O's reminders was for them to take it a step at a time. Calma lang. And that's actually something that Gretchen Soton has told me was very important. Now, we know that at the start of game two, she was surprised by her father. She told me it meant so much to her because her father was actually the one who introduced her to volleyball and started her love for the game. But she doesn't want any emotion to get or to affect the way she or her teammates play. It's important that they stay neutral, that they stay focused, and that they're able to be focused so that they can play the game that they know they have. Now let's send it back to the game. Eyes on the prize, Franny. That's uh, what these players are, I'm sure, thinking. You know, the emotions, you can channel it, obviously, in a positive way. It's about finding that balance. Yeah. Trio is the score. Cheng will move it up to Sabete, who cuts it. Sato will dig. Box will fire. And Green Lines attacking again, Neil. Right now, Petro guys has been giving uh, a lot of placement shots compared to Green Line uh, all power. Right. That's why it's easier for Green Line to actually get their digs of the attacks of the Angels. And again, initial attacks, those first quick strikes. That's what Green Line likes. Gemma got to it. Two point lead for Green Line. That was a good rebound from Petro Gas. But again, the support Salikod was lacking. Great pickup from Gemma Galanza on that one-two play of Cheng. Mitch yeah. Gumabao again targeting the fingertips of the taller MJ Phillips. Sato. Sabete. Wow. wow. What a cut with the help of the net. But that's hard yeah. to do. Net very, or no net. <laughs> very difficult to go to that kind of angle at her height, pa, no? It's all about the wrist action. Yeah, look at that. Tempiatura, by the way, marches into this match for Sien Cruz. Jonah Sabete, six points. Averaging 14.4 in the playoffs and 14 in the finals. Two straight points for Petrogas to tie this match at 5 all. Petrogas has to remember that it was their heavy serves that led them to victory in a game number one. 
continue to ice the knee of Sien Cruz here at the sideline. Five all, Sapete. Seven points for her. 18 points in the first game, 10 in the second. Chumaba, temperatura. Soltones. Denied at the net. Temperatura was there for coverage. And that is another kill block for the Green Line Pool Smashers, scoring their second defensive block. Said Domingo will be credited for that one. 6 5. Mga ganitong laban, yung mini burst sometimes can spell the difference. One on one, Gia able to block. Phillips denied by Tox. The reaction says it all. Three kill block now for the Pool Smashers, and they search to a two point lead against the a Angels. Kaya babalik pa rin talaga tayo that defense wins championships for either team. Right. Even for the offensive teams. Soltones. That one drops in. A three-point lead. Green line, 8-5. Cross court. Carlos averaging 18.5 in the finals. 19.5 in the playoffs. 11 today so far. Cheng, big pass. The target by Soltanes who continues to fire away with 11 points. A lot of out-of-system plays coming from the Petrogas Angels. So it's really up to Petro Soltones to find a way to score 
three players in double figures for Green Line. Only one so far for Petro Gas. Chabete easily takes that. Oop. Misset. Said. Now's the time to bring that connection to game number three. There were a couple of times that he didn't connect with si Seth Domingo and Gia de Guzman. Kaya pinasok si, ano kanina, di ba, si Risa Sato. Ten seven cream line. Set number one belonging to Petrogas, two to cream line. Soltones goes for the swipe. Cheng will go back to Gretzio. Do not let. Gemma was the one who got it this time. They go back to Gretzio. Oh, what a deep cross! <laughs> MVP versus MVP, Gretchen Sultanes matching up to Tots Carlos in that possession. <laughs> <laughs> so many highlight plays here on both teams, including on defense. Look at this, look at the angle. Hanging and hitting is Lady Beast. Depiatura saw that. Sabete Nasarap. A great target by Jonah. Two straight points for Petrogas. And here they come again. Just a one point lead for the Cool Smashers. Three attackers in the front row for Petrogas. This is the time to make your move and erase that lead of the Cool Smashers. Sabete with eight points for herself. 12 points already for Gretchen Soltone. So that's a combined output of 20 compared to the 18 that they had in game number two. Sabete, hop, skip, and a jump. Kill block time! Set it all! First kill block of Petrogas. They have to remember their character. They have to lean on the blocking department if they want to take set number three from the Cool Smasher. Which is how they took set number one, Neil. You're right. It is a 5 2 run for Petrogas. Okay, pag may receive tayo, mag-triangle tayo. Pag wala, talagang sasagupahin natin yun. Ah, let's go! Dumara sa receive! All in! Green line! Happy! A pivotal, very pivotal set number three, Neil. This can swing this match around. No safe lead. Literally, a while ago, we saw a six-point lead from one side, pero nahabal ng kabila, vice versa. Ten all, one all. Champion versus champion. But in the case of Petrogas, they want their first all Filipino championship. Lindsay Vanderweide, of course, was the reinforcement when they won the championship the last time out, last conference. Sabete. Atienza. Galanza. That's going to go out. Just too strong for the blockers to contain. that full swing from Galanza. Eh, halong ano eh. <laughs> 11 serving 10. Aiza gets the point back. That is a confidence booster for Aiza Maiza Pontillas. And we talked about her consistency, 15 points on both game number one and game number two. And she does want to get more here in game number three. This is the game that gusto talaga lahat mag contributes. <laughs> 11 all. Oh, 
Gemma in the middle, dug up. Bump set. Gemma firing back with 13 points of her own. She knows what to do. There was a gap between MJ Phillips and Isa Maizo Pontillas. Phillips. It's not good enough as Atienza got that. Sabete unable to get it over. Green line with a two point lead. MJ Phillips still looking to get solid hits. But Carlos again challenging the defenders of the Petrogas Angels. Coach O'Neill knows how pivotal this set is, so he won't let it go. He'll call a timeout. talking about pag sinabi niyang mahipu yung bola, yun yung sinasabi niya na masoft block lang ng kote to keep it in play so that they can counter attack. Camille Cruz, of course, CN, the manager of Petrogas. Uh, of course, nandito rin si Chabehad. Kompleto! Naiset pa. Chang able to cover. Sabete. One more try. Counter attack by Green Line on Mitch. And it is Mitch who scores. Four point lead. It's pull away time for the Green Line Cool Smashers. A lot of attacks coming from different directions on the floor. That has been the difference. Petrogas has been trying to engage all their attackers, but Green Line has had more success in the past few sequences. F2 getting ready to accept their bronze medal. We don't know if it's in four sets that this match will end, or five, or who will win. Still far from that. It's been truly competitive. Finally, a strong hit from Phillips. What was the difference there, Neil? That was the right timing for MJ Phillips. Proper height, full approach. And we were just waiting for that to happen. Now, double substitution will try to erase the streamline lead. The captain, Chi Saer, coming in alongside Buitre. So, again, that will be a full front line that she will work with of Buitre, Phillips, and Sabete. And she will serve while Premine going to play for side out. Everybody getting massaged now for <laughs> here on the side of Petrogas. This one is out. I think Oliver is going to challenge this one. Ball in, ball out. Okay, I can ask you my question. So, 2019, Petrogas won over Creamline, correct? By a comeback. Janice Johnson, Will Masalas as the imports. Janice was the MVP. Who was the player who was part of that team who is now with Cream Line Cool Smashers? That was Pants Panaga, if yes, I'm not mistaken. There you go. Wow, he came lang nag -isip. as a PBL fan. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Panaga. Was part of the Petrogas. That was outside. That will be an unsuccessful challenge for the Petrogas Angels. The lead is now. At three points. Thanks, Panaga, of course, playing for Creamline now, trying to win a championship against her former team. Sato serving, getting a lot of court time today. Sabete gets the point back. Oh! 
She wanted to apologize, but ah. Risa Sat already made her way back to the bench. Yeah. Headshot on Sato. It has been ultra competitive, but it has been friendly. The sportsmanship Sport, yes, always sport, there yes. between these two squads. Right. There's a there's a level of respect because again these are two veteran teams, two champion teams. So among the players there is a level of respect. The Streamline takes a three-point lead to the second technical timeout. Back inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena. Great crowd here for games one and two, and even today on a weeknight, the fans have showed up for their favorite teams. Cream Line looking, of course, to get back uh, as a champion. They were the third placers in the reinforced conference that Petrogas defended just recently with, as I said earlier, Lindsay, Lindsay van der Weyden. They want to make it back-to-back, -back and they want to win this elusive all-Filipino one. But they're behind by three. Beatrice block. This time, three wide saw it. So far, double shot not working for the Petrogas Angels. Green line maintaining that four-point lead. Right now, they already have five kill blocks compared to the single one of the Petrogas Angels. So defense is missing on the side of the red shirts. Really, just the only one right now humming in terms of offense. 13 points for her. Bump set from the right side of the court. And a high one too. Right? enough for the blockers to get to her. But she still scores as Phillips gets us going for this round. Gretzel pulls it back. Within the antenna too. Palike Soltores. Sabete was there. But said Domingo ends the point at the net. That was a tight passing uh, from the Petrogas Angels. Said Domingo guarding that net, not allowing Rem Palma to put it over. Back to a four point lead. Overpass again. Pero may isa set ng Petrogas. Atienza digs it back. Soltones with the angle. Atienza was there. Counter attack by Gemma. And that's it. Petrogas needed that point. Second kill block for the Angels. Lots of long rallies we're seeing here in the third frame. Puitre again giving quality minutes. How tough is that job, eh? Just gotta be ready all the time. Oh 
Referee Joc Jocelyn Del Rosario. Will signal a challenge. She already awarded the point, right? Yeah. Floor touch called by the first referee, but Team Line is confident that it was a valid first ball on their end. So let's see. Jocelyn Del Rosario, our first referee, and Lindo Eusebio, our second referee. Like we said, a very crucial set number three. And everybody waiting here for the ruling. Is it a floor touch? Oh no! So we will replay the point. Gia de Guzman got there in time. It was such a clean save from Gia de Guzman. So Creamline keeps its challenge. That's why we have that. Pump set to Gemma. And they get the point. And that might be a crucial part of this set. That successful challenge. Green Line just taking care of their cushion here. And daming palo na lumulusot dun sa blocking pattern ng Petrogas Angels. 15, serving 19. Green Line has eight service errors. Petrogas has four. And we're back at a five-point lead. Cool Smashers in control right now. From blocking to passing to serving. Twenty serving fifteen. That is their ninth service error. Kenzel Sultanis leads with thirteen points. Good dig, good save. Gia, Teresa, what a smart beat. Feathery touch. That's why she's in the starting unit for the Cool Smashers. Want to play for Gia de Guzman. Chance ball, papunta sa kanila. Teresa Sato, ending that rally. And playing to the crowd, as she always does. Six, make that back to a five-point lead. Sabete. Nobody holds. Green line breaking away. Sato will be credited for that one. This is so far following the script of game number two. First set, Petrogas looks really good out of the gates. But Creamline getting more comfortable as the sets wear on. And now they have the biggest lead of the match at six points, 22-16 in set number three. Body language is also different on the side of the Petrogas Angels. What do you see in the body language? Medyo matitense 
at magiging tentative yung movement ng Angels. Again, tight passing. Lugosin pa rin! All the breaks of the game right now, going to the side of the two smashers. The biggest lead of the match at seven. Nicole Tiamzon comes in for Jonas Sabete. As Michelle Gumabal scores her 14th point of the match. Two points away from a pivotal set three win. Tiamzon goes high. Now Abel Tarijema. Chance ball. Running attack. Set back. Good spot for Tiami. And I saw Coach Oliver Almagro giving instructions to Tiamzon before she went inside. And mohang nasunod. And when you are faced with a double block, doesn't matter if we get the point instantly, kahit mapabagal lang natin yung ball aulet so that we can set up our defense at magulo yung defensive pattern ng cream line. Seventeen serving twenty-three. As Bernie Palma always takes her time. Mitch. Fifteen points for Gumabaw. The trifecta of Gumabaw, Todd Carlos, and Gemma Galanza all showing up here in game number three of the finals. In game number three, it looks like offense is winning, Neil. Three players in double figures for Cream Line. As MJ Phillips saves one set point. They need to play flawless volleyball right. from this point on if they want to target that loose point. No room for mistake. Thoughts. Good reflexes by Petrogas. But Cream Line will not be denied. Set number three. You can feel the intensity of the sea of pink here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Cream Line one set away from getting the gold medal here in our All-Filipino Conference. They're up two sets to one against the Petrogas Angels. Back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for our continuing coverage of Game 3 of the Finals between uh, the Cream Line Cool Smashers and uh, the Petrogas Angels. Cream Line again just one set away from uh, claiming their throne here in the All-Filipino Conference. And for Petrogas, they do have to pull out all the stops if they want to force a decider against the pink shirts. It was the most dominant set of Cream Line in this entire final series. Attacking was there. The defense was also there and for the Petrogas Angels. It was really Gretchen Soltones carrying the heavy load. Clearly not enough 
take over power the attacking of the trifecta of Dreamline in Gumabao, Carlos, and Gemma Galanza. But this battle is far from over. We know that finishing out uh, finals games is a totally different ball game. But for Dreamline, they just have to focus hard and keep their momentum rolling. Petrogas had uh, 12 attacks compared to the 14 of the Cool Smashers. But again, the kill blocks of Dreamline proved to be very solid. Six blocks compared to the single one of the Petrogas Angels. Four unforced errors, and this was this has been the tale of uh, this match. Limited errors on both ends. It's really the attacks and the defense of both of these teams that have been scoring for their respective squads. Team 9 36 minutes to actually end at set number three because we had a lot of long rallies, but the score was 25 to 18. Now it's a winner take all. So the bigger question is, can Creamline close out or can the Petrogas Angels extend this one to a fifth? To winner take all Thursday here at the Mall of Asia Arena. The magic bullet for today is that girl, Risa Sato. While Michelle Kumabao, 16 points on 14 attacks. Gretzel Sultanes, 13 points. The only player in double figures for the Petrogas Angels. Set number four. In game number two, it was Petrogas who won and forced the fifth set. Can they duplicate that? and have a different ending here. The 12,000 crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena witnessing this uh, historic battle, Neil. No matter how we swing it, this is on an epic proportion. So an equality that we have witnessed from game number one. And even the semifinals, if you want to include that, of course, a paganda rin lapa natin ng F2 and then PLDT. The battle for bronze, I mean, and F2 and PLDT, and the semifinal matchups between Creamline and F2, and Petrogas and PLDT. 1 0 Creamline. Pipe attack. Lanza with her most productive 16 points. First she, point was a soft touch on that combination play. This time it was a hard hit coming from that pipe. And look at the reaction. <laughs> Gemma Galanza in your area. 17 in game one, 18 in game two. That's out. Oh, but it touches someone. There was a check ball. We might see a challenge. Yes, Coach Timmy Santo Tomas asking for a block touch challenge. Wait, I think, are they challenging the previous attack where Isa thinks it hit the antenna prior to that last Thoughts, Carlos. So, in other words, what I'm saying the second to the last attack, I think, is what they're challenging. This is where the challenge gets a little tricky, Neil. Because they're not, I don't think they're challenging the last play, but the previous one. But I may be wrong. We'll see. There was a touch. Fingertips of Isa Maizo Pontillas. That will remain with the Clean Line right. Smashers. They yeah. now have a three point lead. Okay. Unsuccessful challenge. 3 0. This is a dangerous for Petrogas. They've been playing catch up almost all throughout this match, actually. That's long. Let's check it with Franny Reyes. Similar story to game two, and 
where Petra Gas won the first set and then Greenlight of the next two. But let's get back to that later as we head into timeout first. It's the Lord's battle now. Pero maniwala lang tayo. Kasi kung hindi tayo maniniwala, hindi, kailangan tayo maniwala. Maniwala lang muna kayo. Okay? Ate Cheng, listen to me. Okay. Tama yung pasok ni Ate Remy. Tama yan. Meron ka dito. Si MG2 eh. Si MG2. Meron tayong nang. Di ba yun ito yung game plan? Dito tapos doon. Kailangan na magkaroon siya ng touch eh. Nagkakaroon siya ng touch pagka out of system lang eh. Kailangan pag chance ball, bigay na natin eh. Petrogas Angels down four here in set four. Aiza gets it through the block. Good time out by Coach o. Reminding the girls to follow their game plan. Reminding Cheng that na nandiyan pa si Aiza Maizo Pontillas ready to attack. All right, let's go back to Franny Reyes. I know we got the cut for her report earlier. Franny, go ahead. Thanks, Boom. As I was saying earlier, we're seeing a similar story to what we saw in game two where Petrogas took the first set and then Green Line the next two. And Tots told me what really worked in game two was their composure and their teamwork that allowed them to execute their plays. But more than that, it's their body language and their enjoyment. Sabi nga ni Coach Carl Santos, the theme for Green Line today is good vibes because when they have those good vibes, they're able to connect and that chemistry is so powerful on that court that whoever they go against just has a difficult difficult time now before the set they were complimenting each other good cover good defense take it one step at a time they echoed the cheers of the crowd isa na lang and let's see if they will make that happen after this fourth set back to the game Phillips unable to put that away thank you Franny Let's get through this rally first. Cheng to Phillips. That drops out. Is it Coach Carlos' birthday today? I think so. Yeah, right? If I'm not mistaken. It's uh, the one we focused earlier, Coach Carl. It'll be his birthday today. If it is, well, happy birthday. No better gift than what he might get today. One point at a time, ang sabi ni Franny. Ganun din ang iniisip ngayon ng Petrogas. They're down two. They were down four earlier. Very manageable. Very doable. And they were able to do that extension in game number two. Pero hindi nila kayang palubohin yung yes. kalamangan ng Creamline. Because once Creamline takes control of a huge lead, and then a crowd gets into it and all of that, medyo mahirap. In which is what happened in set, in set number five, right? In game game uh, number two, they unleashed an 8-0 run, and the crowd just got into it, and the collapse na itong Petrogas. Oh, this is a better hit from MJ Philip. Philip, she was still trying to get her range. That was an unforced error before that uh, kill. Back to thoughts. Touch again, one on one. That drops in. Nobody in front of her except for Chang, who was pretty much helpless with her resistance here. Look at that. Small nuances make all the difference when you're in that center's position. That slight lean, Nijia de Guzman actually led MJ Phillip to the right pin. Short chain by Mitch. Still alive, though. Still in play. Gia, set, that's it, and it's back to a three-point lead. Cream Light's offense is humming right now. Ito yung set na kailangan mag-connect lahat ng players on the floor for the Cruz Masters if they want to bring home that gold medal. Four players in double figures now, Neil. Phillips just cannot see to get anything solid, and her body language is also 
Not looking good. 8-4, Petrogasis down four. Thousand today here on a Thursday evening. Thank you very much for being part of this epic, epic showdown between two champion teams, the Creamline Cool Smashers, the defending champions, and the Petrogas Angels, the reinforced conference champions. What a great atmosphere, so festive, so intense. Uh, and that's all because of the fans on the heart. Of volleyball. And speaking of fans, they also have some stuff to say. But para ako lang, ako ang maglalaro sobra kabagnao. Says issue. JC giving me alta presyon. The game nato indeed PBL, the heart of volleyball. And the uh, pearl says Eliza by just wearing her jersey. <laughs> Looking nervous as usual. As a fan and as a supporter at uh, the Coco Sports Center, Petrogas has to yeah. hang on and has to stay stuck, uh, stay tough here. Petrogas has to cut down this lead. Kila ang dumikit muna sila. Isa isa. Ni pwede mo ay pagpalita ng puntos. So Bete with 11 points here. In that setter's position, Diego Guzman already has 16 excellent sets. Compared to the nine of Cheng. Good reaction there by Tempiatura. Dodge, piston play! You're shaking your head, Neil. Combination <laughs> play. Perfectly designed by Gia de Guzman. Oh, look at that. Set to Bingo, getting the commitment of Gretchen Soltones. Nine, serving, five. Santones finds a crack in that wall. She is the brightest spot right now for the Petrogas Angels, but she needs help from the other players on the floor. What a fight by Gretzel Santones here. 14 points on 14 attacks. Averaging 11 in the final, so she's over her average already. She's trying to get her team back into play here. Palma. Oh, what up? No touch. Too wide. Definitely outside. Wanted to go for down the line. Palma has eight points here. And we're at 16 in game number two in a losing pause. Set Domingo. when you become persistent in uh, the broken place of your opponent. And the reaction is priceless. In Kadalasan, binibitawan naman talaga pag malayo na sa net. But Risa Sato getting a hand on that retro Fulton is hit. Domingo, Cruz, five-point deficit for Petrogas. What a dive by Domingo. Calanza on the counter, set back. Galatz again! Coverage by Domingo! Dots will twist. Chang, Bob set. 
What an exchange here. The Lanza with a rolling ball. Unbelievable exchange. We are already halfway through the set. Dreamline looking good. Gemma Galanza placement shot. Oh, Aiza was there. He knew she made that mistake. Nakita niya na papunta sa kanya, pero hindi niya naihatid. Kay Cheng. Six points. They have doubled up on Petrogas here in set number four. Nobody taking the third one. Dots and Mitch diving. Five point lead. This is far from over. Yeah. And there's that allowable margin of error yes. for the Cool Smashers and for the Petrocast Angels. They really need consecutive points to bring back the momentum on their side. Right. And wala pa masyadong scoreboard pressure as we call it in volleyball dial. It's still early in the set. Wala pa tayo sa hatch. 12-7. Triple-double already for Gemma Galanza. From attacking to receiving and digging. She has done it all for the Cool Smashers. She's not done yet. Galanza saw that one. Pipe attack! Is it a footfall? Oh, okay, that's what they're challenging. Sayang yun, kasi they kept it in play, you know, yung uh, ang Petrogas. If they don't get this challenge, will this be a replay point? No, that would be a point for Creamline. For Creamline already. Oh, Coach O better pray that this one is on their in their favor. They challenge mid-rally. Correct. Which you can do. Especially for something like that, like footballs. On the pipe attack from Dots Carlos. You see, I think Tempiatura was able to, although overpass, but the rally was still alive, correct? There were a lot of uh, defensive touches on the side of the Petrogas Angels. But about balik ng bola from Creamline, palakas ng palakas. It's almost a replay from game number two. Coach O also challenged the same thing. And Coach Carlos also was like three or four inches away from the line. So that will prove costly because now it's back to a six-point lead. There's no replay of the point. Gia takes a breath. Sabete. And it's Soltones again. <laughs> and, and that's where, you know, she's trying her best to keep everyone engaged. Yeah. She's trying to bring that positive vibes by producing the yeah. points for Petrogas. She can't do it alone, though. Everybody's got to chip in. Now you're wondering whether there's a bit of fatigue fa factor coming in here. And speaking of, because she has been working so hard, she sends that one to the net. 8-14. Another six-point lead for the Cool Smashers. Now they have a full front line with Carlos Lisa Sato and Michelle Gumabao. Aiza. Pumalek, courtesy of Atienza. Saved by Gemma. Thought she was swiping. Aiza again. Gemma keeps it up. Chance ball for Petro. High rainbow. Cheng will go to Remy. But Gia was there to dig. Thoughts on the counter. And Cream Line winning the exchanges. Impeccable defense. From the Green Light Bull Smashers, that one two punch of Gemma Galanza and Kyle Atienza. Tots Carlos with 16 points. 
but more importantly, it is a seven point lead. Make that eight, 16 eight. Green line is halfway there here in set number four. Well, the 12,000 here to witness uh, this epic conclusion of a series between two great champion teams. You know, in 2019, when Petrogas came back from 0-1 down to win the title in the reinforced conference, they halted Dreamline's first attempt at a three-peat at that time, as we know, because of uh, what happened last reinforced conference also. Dreamline ending at third place. They were also going for another three-peat. So really, Dreamline will uh, erase some of the things that happened from 2019 for them. And uh, they're looking to maintain their supremacy, especially when it comes to the All Filipino, which was also the open conference before here in your Premier Volleyball League. That's a... Uh... 11 to 4 run in favor of the cream like wood smashers here in the midpoint of set number four cream line just nine points away from getting another title now g side is back on the floor for the petrogas angels overpass that is the biggest lead of the match already and petrogas unfortunately is slowly crumbling here it's not yet possible, but it is a difficult mountain to climb. Getting I mean, win. seven yeah. points with the uh, green line attacking on all angles. Getting tougher and tougher with each point, that's for sure. Nine serving 16. That's out. Coach Sherwin actually thinks it's in. <laughs> he actually was pointing and, and looked at us here at the panel and thought, yeah, he gave me the look that I think it is him. But they're not going to challenge Petrogas because they don't have uh, any challenge opportunities left. Oh, boss. He's uh, fighting. Big point there for Isa Maiso Pontillas. It's not yet over. Hanggang sa pumatak sa 25 point mark yan for Dreamline. And right now it's in the hands of Jonas Sabete and MJ Phillips to get the points for Petrogas. Sabete with 11 points and Phillips only with 6. Pumps set to the other side. Tox adjusts. Sabete attacks. What a slide there by Atienza. Galanza using the net. Sabete is denied. That's the third or fourth kill block already for the Cool Smashers here in set number four. Ito yung nawala sa Petrogas in the past few frames. Streamline out blocking them in every single set, which is what they did also. In game number two, out blocking the best blocking team after the preliminaries. Three points for the Angels. Seven point deficit here. Game number three. Cream line, Neil has 13 blocks. Petrogas with seven.
12-8 was the advantage in game two. That will sail out. That will not help their cause. And Creamline, the lead back at eight. Hey, listen. Si Ate Chito, ha? Adjas tayo dito. Huwa tayo isa-isa. Tingnan natin saan tayo abutin. Importante tiwala sa ginagawa. Now, know your advantage. Pag nakita niyo hindi pa pwede, patience. Okay, pag may gandong available, bigay. So ngayon, commit tayo sa defense, ha? Now, ready? Pag hindi natin na-atake, ready ka agad sa counter. Natama sa kamay, ha? Sige, sige. Isa-isa, isa-isa. Last ditch stand, Neil. After this game, no matter how it ends, we'll have the awarding ceremonies, which will include, of course, the bronze medalists. The best finish of the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers, the best finish in the PVL. They have six titles on their own outside of the PVL, and they're looking for their first one here in your heart of volleyball. As a catch and throw violation will be called on Chisayat, which means Greenline gets to 20 and gets closer to their sixth title. Defense and offense just falling apart for the Petrogas Angels here in a set number four for Greenline. Again, they never look back after that dominant third frame. Second ball put away by Gia de Guzman. That is her second point of the match. 21-11. You did say, Neil, once Creamline gets an edge from a scoring standpoint, pag bubuka na bubuka yung deficit, it is dangerous for any team. That was also the question. He said that the team who can actually overpower Cream Line in the attacking department would be a good matchup. Petrogas showed that in game number one, but it changed in game number two. And that's also the trend here in game number three. And hindi lang yun sa attacking department. Now, Cream Line is showing better defense compared to the best blocking team of the league. That's why they have a commanding 10 point lead. And this is the time you see that connection between Gia de Guzman and San Domingo. It was erratic in the past few games, but that last play was a money for these two girls. The former finals MVP, San Domingo, with 12 points for herself. 14 in the first game, 14 in the second. 12 today. Saif to Soltones. And no matter how this ends, you have got to commend Kretzel Sultanis today as she continues to swing away. What a performance for her, 16 points. That was their goal, actually, is it Coach Oliver and see Gretzel Sultanis. They wanted to bring that MVP form back. Yeah. And I feel like nakita natin yun, especially yeah. in the final series between these two squads. And if she can stay healthy, Neil, in the succeeding conferences, that will be great for Petrogas. Patillas and Palma, double block. And block number one for the Petrogas Angels here in the fourth set. And only the eighth of the game for them. Buck set. Somebody touched the net. So that will go to Greenline. Two points away from title number six. And when the pressure is on your side, but the Titan can yeah. you move next more, you get infractions like uh, that net violation, double contact, and it just snowballs to the rest of your skill department. Eliza Vegas praying for the last two points on their side. Gia yeah, because you the best server of the league. Of the league serving right now. And to a lot of people, an MVP candidate for uh, this conference. So Tonis again. Gia one hand. 
Kaiser. Set back, no coverage, and we are at championship point. Petrogas just watching that ball drop. Nobody home, nobody home behind. Aiza Maizo from Sirias. What a day for Risa Sato, Neil. Always ready to play. Always ready to entertain. 24-14. One championship point save. As much as Eliza is praying for a championship, I'm sure it's also eating her up that she wasn't part of the high quality Competition. She told me that that is the one thing that she's missing, that to be part of the competition, not even the championship yet, because competitors love games like these. Championship point still. And Galicia delivers the killer blow. Three blind. was done to them back in 2019. They come back from a game down in this best of three without their heart and soul, their captain, Eliza Valdez, and they win their sixth championship in eight finals appearances. What a fitting finish for the Green Light Moon Smashers. Gemma Galanta started this game out with a combination play and she ends things for the Green Line fans and they get another gold medal here in the All Filipino Conference of the PVL. But Neil, this series is not going to be as great as it is without a great opponent and the Petrogas Angels won a lot of fans in this series, Neil. It was a match made in heaven. You wouldn't want it any other way, Petro. Match made in heaven. You wouldn't want it any other way, Petro. ...community that they deserve to be in the finals. But for now, they will set her for that silver medal. It is Galanza who delivers championship point for her 19th point on 19 attacks. And the reaction says it all. A subdued celebration by their captain, watching from the sidelines, coaching from the sidelines, inspiring from the sidelines. And that is the confirmation of that championship win. 2025, 2520, 2518, 2515. The Cream Line Cool Smashers win their sixth title and defend this all Filipino championship. We'll take a break. We'll give you the celebrations and talk to the key players here between Cream Line and Petrogas.
What a game it has been! Four sets and the championship belongs to the Creamline Cool Smashers! Right now, I'm with... I'm with our Cool Smashers, Gemma Galanza, Michelle Kumabao, Risa Sato, Seth Domingo, Kyla Atienza. First of all, congratulations on the championship. You guys are the All-Filipino Conference Champions. Now, this conference is your bounce back tour, uh, especially coming from the last conference. Can you talk a bit about that? At MJ, go. Guys, for the fans and of course, syempre, kay Ate Lai, na sobrang miss na miss na namin kasama sa loob ng court. Yes! Babawi kami para kay Ate Lai, sabi ko. Para kay Ate Lai, definitely. Now, Michelle, I wanted to ask you, coming from the Reinforced Conference, you didn't get to play as much, to now having a pivotal role, a massive contribution to this championship. How does it feel? I'm super happy to be given this opportunity. I haven't played in the PVL for six for like a year. So it's good to be back and I uh, I'm super thankful kasi yung yung coaches namin, yung team namin, you know, everybody was looking at Cream Line kasi nga kami yung hindi nagpalit ng lineup, but it's a testament na ito pa rin talaga yung team and family namin. So thank you God, thank you to all our fans, thank you to our management, thank you po sa inyo lahat for supporting all the way. Thank you so much, Michelle, Gemma, Risa. Anything you want to add? Sawadika! Thank you for support, guys! Ah, dito kayo! Kaya panalo kami! <laughs> thank you, thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, Risa. Now let's throw it over to Neil. Neil, who's with you? Thank you so much, Franny. I am here with the champion setter and the champion coach, Gia Morado de Guzman and Coach Sherwin Meneses. Punta muna tayo kay Gia. Gia, congratulations. Once again, you proved that you're a cut above the rest. I know you came from a loss in game number one. How did you keep the girls motivated after that loss? Well, it wasn't that hard because everyone in the team knew what our lapses were and everyone was ready to step up to the challenge. Pagkatapos nung game one, lahat ready magensayo. The next day, everyone came in early. Nag-aral lahat ng game. So I really have to give it to the team also. And again, ang ganda na naging performance nyo kayo. I'm sure the Cream Line fans would agree with me. And uh, this was a year of growth also. You were parading uh, the same lineup. But what did you discover again sa Cream Line that helped you reach that gold medal? Uh, I think for this conference, mas pinanghawakan talaga namin yung relationship namin as a team. Um, Coach Sherwin also and the coaching staff helped us level up our game kasi uh, we know na si Atala is not with us on court pero nandiyan siya sa gilid, ready to coach us, ready to be there for us all the time. So, kinukuha namin yung lakas ng loob namin from that. So, nagpapasalamat kami kay Atala sa team captain namin. Pero pagdating sa loob ng court, wala, sobrang... We're just really playing for each other. Yeah, and nakita naman at si Aliza na very active in the sidelines. But Gia, now is the time for you to greet all of your supporters here in the Mall of Asia Arena. Hello to all of our Creamline supporters! Um, I know we missed the finals last year, pero nakabawi tayo this year. At kasama kayo dito sa panalo natin. So sana kita-kita tayo ulit next conference. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Gia. Punta naman tayo sa ating champion coach na si Coach Sherwin Meneses. Coach Sherwin, congratulations. We were talking before this interview na iba this season kasi nga kulang kayo sa lineup. But what was the mindset of the Cool Smashers heading into game number three? Lalo na't alam nyo, winner take all. Siyempre, yung, yung team naman, uh, sabi ko nga, pare-pareho yung ginagawa. Uh, kahit wala si Aliza, yung ibang outside hitter talagang nagpapakita sa insayo. Uh, Nag-response naman yung mga players, so nakuha namin yung champion. It was definitely a dominant performance in the third and the fourth frame. Now, Coach, I just have one simple question. Sa tingin mo, ano yung biggest strength ng cream line that sets you apart of the rest of the competition here in the All-Filipino Conference? Ah, uh, syempre, yung management namin sobrang supportive sa amin. Tapos yung mga players namin sobrang dedicated sa, sa volleyball. 
yun yung number one strength ng, ano, ng team. Chemistry, management, then yung mga players. You've shown that time and time again that chemistry can win championships. Now, Coach, may gusto ko bang batiin dito sa Mall of Asia Arena or sa mga nanonot at home? Uh, Siyempre, binabati ko yung, yung family ko. Nandiyan sila, nagsisuporto sa amin. Nakakauwi uh, na kami ng medyo maaga. <laughs> Napagpahinga. So, thank you sa Creamline supporters. Uh, see you next conference. And sana nga po, support nyo ulit ang Creamline Cool Smashers. That was your champion setter, Gia de Guzman. And champion coach, Coach Sherwin Meneses. Creamline fans, we're not yet over. We have more interviews coming your way as I send it back to Boom. Check, 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 check. One, two. Back inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena, and 12,000, more than 12,000 people inside this arena, and millions more watching on all of our platforms. Welcome again to the conclusion now of this epic series between the Creamline Cool Smashers and the Petrogas Angels. It's one heck of a series, and we've also had an incredible all Filipino conference, uh, nothing short of spectacular. And of course, our favorites. Uh, our favorite players came and delivered signature performances. And we also saw several individual, great individual performers who have blossomed now into superstars. Now, it is time to crown the best of the best. Our three medalists here in the heart of volleyball. Of course, we will introduce first our presenters. For today, we begin with Mr. Ramon Tats Suzara, President, Philippine National Volleyball Federation. Mr. Don Caringal, Secretary General, PNVF. Ms. Shena Olaso, FVP, Channels and Content for Signal TV. Mr. Tony Boy Liao, the Tournament Director for the Premier Volleyball League. Mr. Fred Fate, Marketing Director for the Premier Volleyball League. And the President of the PBL, Mr. Ricky Palu. First up on the podium, our bronze medalists they were tough they were relentless just like their head coach welcome to the podium your bronze medalists the f2 logistics cargo movers Team Captain Abby Maraño, and Ivy Laxina, Ara Galang, Don Macandili Katindig, Shola Alvarez, Myla Pablo, Kim Fajardo, Majoy Baron, Cha Cruz Behag, CJ Wu, Kiana D, Iris Tolenada, Chini Arroyo, Ellie Casilag, Jess Maramos, 
and Rovi Australia. With team manager Holly Reyes, head coach Regine Diego, coaches Benson Bokbok and Rodel Canino. The F2 Logistics first podium finish since joining the PVL in 2021. Their best finish. They brought in Regine Diego to serve as interim head coach this conference. And did a spectacular job rekindling the fire in her team. Mila Pablo and Ivy Laxina also a perfect addition to the solid core of former La Salle Lady Spikers. And they took on the tough PLDT squad and managed to squeeze out the bronze finish in only their third conference here in the PVL. And of course, they got a jolt of inspiration from the presence of the legendary coach Ramil De Jesus. Their second runner up, F2 Logistics. Congratulations, F2. Now it is time to award our first runner-up. And boy, they fought valiantly this conference and in this series. This tight-knit tight group, rather, came together and played their hearts out for one of their leaders. Your silver medalists. The Petrogas Angels! These group of veterans came on to put a show in this final series. A series we won't soon forget. Tess Clemente, Janelle Cheng, Heather Guinó, Gretzel Sultanes, Z. Hervasho, Jelly Tempiatura, Aiza Maiza Pontillas, Remy Palma, Marian Buitre, MJ Phillips, Team Captain Chi Sayet, Cien Cruz, Yea Gabarda, Nicole Tiamzon, and Jonah Sabete. Team manager, Mr. Dave DiCiupa Jr., head coach Oliver Almadro, and coaches Stephen Jones Patrona, Timmy Santo Tomas, Mona Bagat Singh, and Jay Chua. The reinforced conference champions are your first runners up, the Petrogas Angels. Rest assured, that will not be the last time we will see them in a finals series. Congratulations to Coach Oliver Almadro in his first, of course, stint as coach for the Petrogas Angels. Now, for our champions. This team has made this climb to the top of the league several times. And this conference, obviously, very special to them. Ladies and gentlemen, their sixth title in eight finals appearances. Your 2023 All-Filipino Conference Champions, the Cream Line Cool Smashers! <laughs> Kyle Negrito, Risa Sato, Pang Spanaga, Michelle Gumabao, Ella De Jesus, Lori Bernardo, Pao Soriano, Kyle Atienza, Game Captain Gia De Guzman, Seth Domingo, Riza Mandapat, Rose Vargas, Tots Carlos, Gemma Galanza, 
Phil Cayetano, and team captain, Eliza Valdez. With team manager, Alan Acero, head coach, Sherwin Meneses, with coaches, Carlos Santos and Buck Morado. Taking their sixth championship in the PVL without their leader on the court, in Eliza Valdez, but playing for their captain. Cream line down in the series and coming back as your all Filipino champions, the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Congratulations to F2 Logistics, the Petrogas Angels, and your champions for the All-Filipino Conference, the Cream Line Cool Smashers. We would like to ask all of the teams, F2, Petrogas, and Dreamline, to go on top of the podium so we can get a nice picture and document this uh, special day in the Premier Volleyball League. So we can get a group picture of the champions, the first runner-up, and the second runner-up. All the players, and coaches, and team managers. And of course, we all have a feeling that these three teams will be in the mix for more championship battles in the PVL in months and years to come. In the meantime, in the league of the best volleyball players in this country, we had a select few who rose to the top. And these are the players who elevated their games, who we dream would be in a team together. It is now time to name the All-Filipino Conference Premier Team. We begin with the best setter. And our presenter for this award. Our presenter for this award and Mr. Alan Acero, the team manager of Creamline. First up, the engine or the heart of any team, the setter. And our best setter this conference, as our fans would say, is gold. She led the league in setting, averaging 7.3 excellent sets per set. The BVL All Filipino Conference Best Setter, Gia de Guzman. Gia de Guzman, our best setter, with Mr. Alan Acero, and of course. 
Michelle Olaso, our FBP for channels and content for Signal TV. Your best setter for the All Filipino Conference, Gia de Guzman. And now for the best outside spikers. And we would like to ask Mr. Alan Acero, team manager of Creamline, to remain as our presenter. One of our best outside spikers has been an MVP in this league. At this conference, she put up all around numbers. Her third best outside spiker trophy is Gemma Galanza. She was the third best spiker, the ninth best scorer, and also the seventh best receiver. Whatever her team needed, she delivered. Without one of their leaders, she stepped up to the plate and churned out another spectacular performance in this conference. Gemma Galanza. Congratulations. Completing our best outside spikers is also a former MVP in this league. None other than Todd Carlos. If you want to talk about versatility, this player is also a former best opposite spiker in the league. This conference, she was our second best spiker, our third best server, sixth best scorer, and fifth best receiver, and the best receiver for her team, the Creamline Cool Smashers. Congratulations, Tots Carlos. Now we move on to our best middle blockers. Can we call on Mr. Dave DeChupa Jr., the team manager of the Petrogas Angels? First up, one of your best middle blockers is MJ Phillips. This player has been lights out this conference. Our fourth best blocker in the league. After missing first three matches of this conference, she still wins one of the best middle blockers of the conference. Just what Petrogas needed in that middle blocker position. Congratulations, MJ Phillips. And now our other best middle blocker also had a phenomenal conference and a phenomenal finals, Rem Palma. A big reason why her team won the championship last conference and continues to be brilliant in this all Filipino conference. Passionate and competitive. A player who joined Petrogas in 2021 is now one of the best middle blockers of the All Filipino Conference in your Premier Volleyball League. Your middle blockers, MJ Phillips and Rem Palma from the Petrogas Angels. And now we move on to the best opposite spiker. And we would like to call on our presenter, Alan Acero from Creamline, the team manager of Creamline. Our best opposite spiker for the All Filipino Conference, Michelle Kumaba.
Michelle Gumbabao returns to form in the All-Filipino. After coming off the bench last season, the player stepped back into the starting role and filled in beautifully for her team. She was our best spiker and seventh best scorer in the preliminary round. Congratulations and welcome back, Michelle Gumabao. Now we move on to the best libero of the PVL All Filipino Conference. Our presenter. And we call on Mr. Baji Del Rosario from PLDT. And your best libero for the PVL All Filipino Conference. None other than Kat Arado. Ridiculous numbers for Kat Arado this conference. 40 digs in one game and another game where she finished with a near 90% reception efficiency. If there was a sliver of a chance to keep a ball alive, you could count on Kat to give everything she had to get it. Your best libero. Congratulations, Kat Arado. And now, to award our conference MVP. We'd like to call on Mr. Tony Boy Liao, our tournament director and our president of the PVL, Mr. Ricky Palu, to award our conference MVP. Your All-Filipino Conference MVP is... Dots Carlos! She continues to rack up individual awards. She's helped her team reach the finals for the fourth time since she joined in 2021. Had to convert this conference and still deliver the goods. Your All-Filipino Conference MVP once more, Tuts Carlos. Tuts Carlos, if we can ask you to stay in the middle first, Tuts, before joining your team. Can you go back and stay with uh, Sir Tats and Sir Tony and Sir Ricky? That's Carlos, MVP. All right, let me run to you real quick because we need to hear from you. All right, there you go. There you go. Maraming maraming salamat po. Di po to makukuha without the help of my teammates, kayo mga fans sa sumusumorta. My seniors, Ate Gia, Ate Lai, the FG, ay, my batchmates, my batchmates, Coach Erwin, lahat ng coach namin, Coach Mark, Coach Carlo, Bok, lahat ng sumusumorta sa amin, yung tiwalang binigay nila sa akin, di talaga mapapantayan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa family ko. Sir Joy, love you. Rabis ko, maraming maraming salamat. Sa pamilya ka na nandito, thank you. Para po sa ating lahat to. Maraming maraming salamat po. Big pass. 
Foot says enough is enough. To bowl. Oh boy! Back to Mitz. And she puts it away! Katanza on the angle. Oh, oh. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your BVL Premier Team for the 2023 All-Filipino Conference. Now there's one more uh, thing that we need to take care of, one more order of business, and that is to award our Finals MVP. Still presented by, of course, uh, Mr. Ricky Palu. And Mr. Tat Susana, the president of the Philippine National Volleyball Federation. Our finals MVP for this epic series of the 2023 All-Filipino Conference is... Tia de Guzman! Your best setter is your finals MVP. Congratulations, Gia. We need to hear a few words from our finals MVP too. Thank you so much for uh, first. I want to thank my Creamline family. Um, hindi kami makarating dito kung may sasame na wala. So from the players to the coaching staff to our, everyone in the staff, also the management and also the supporters, hindi kami abot dito kung di dahil sa inyo lahat. So panalo natin to. Um, I want to thank especially the coaches kasi chinaga talaga nila kami this conference. Um, ni level up pa nila yung laro namin at. <laughs> I want to thank also <laughs> I want to thank my family my family for being here um, here and at home and yes, Miguel, my husband who's not here today, hello <laughs> uh, thank you so much also to the Cream Line management and everyone for supporting Rubisco thank you I already said hello. Hello again to Miguel. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, your finals MVP. Congratulations, Gia. Congratulations, Stotts. Congratulations to the P Premier team of the PVL. Congratulations, F2 and the Petrogas Angels and the Cream Line Pool Smashers. We'll take a break. We'll be back inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena.
We're back inside the SM Mall of Asia Arena as the celebrations continue here after an epic series between the uh, Petrogas Angels, of course, and uh, the champions who are on your screens right now, the Cream Line Cool Smashers, their sixth title in eight years. We also, of course, awarded uh, the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers as our bronze medalists for the All-Filipino Conference. Congratulations also to our premier team and congratulations to everybody behind uh, a great conference for the Premier Volleyball League. I, I begin with you, Franny, and I want your thoughts about the epic series in general, games one to three, and what you thought about uh, Petrogas and Dreamline. Well, I expected nothing less from our reinforced conference champions and from Creamline, who was itching to come back to the finals and get that championship. You know, both teams really showed their character and it really boiled down to just a great game overall. Now, what about the crowd today that we got, Franny, huh? I don't know. I barely heard you guys sometimes. <laughs> the, That's a good thing. You can rely on the Petrogas fans. The Cream Line fans to cheer on their teams as loudly as they can. And the PVL fans in general. We have, you know, the guys here from Cream Line. We have Petrogas also behind us. Uh, it is the, it's a great kind of chaos that we enjoy uh, after. Congratulations, champions. Neil, your thoughts on the All-Filipino Conference ending with this championship. There were a lot of player movements in the respective teams, but generally, it was the elevated gameplay that we saw from our competing teams. It just keeps getting better here in the PVL, and we can expect more explosive matches in our next conference. I wanted to get the thoughts of Eliza Valdez here. Eliza, if you if you can join us real quick, just before, you know, we're used to hearing from you, obviously. Um, I just want your thoughts on you. You were thought we were chatting, and you said the, the quality of volleyball in the finals was just top notch. Can you give us what you thought about the finals and the championship in general? Oh, wow, it's been a while since I watched a volleyball game like this, and I would really want to say kudos to all the coaches, to all the players, and hopefully we see more action and entertaining and exciting matches soon. Quickly, what do you think gave you the edge na ipanalo nyo here in game number three? In your opinion, from, from your uh, spectator eyes. Ah, I just really want to congratulate also Petrogas. I mean, it's really, their season has been really amazing. But I think it's more of, I feel like the composure also and the maturity of the team uh, during the latter part and most especially closing out the the, the, the series. It's, it's, it's a very long series, but they were able to close it out because of growth and maturity. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to the team. Uh, what an achievement. There's six title Neil and Franny in eight years and they get the feeling that it's not going to be their last. But you also get the feeling, Franny, that there's some tough competition out there itching to get to that level. Definitely. The level of volleyball has never been higher and it can only go up from here. All right, Neil, your final thoughts before we close up our conference again. It was an amazing season, but there are a lot of more conferences. But for now, the teams will celebrate their respective podium finishes. And for us, we'll be back for more. And the big winner, of course, was the fans, the PVL fans who joined us here at the SM All of Asia Arena. And of course, who continue to watch us on One Sports, One Sports Plus, on the Signal Play app, and on the Smart Livestream app. For Franny Reyes, Neil Flores, all of our on-air team, our production crew, our technical crew, the PVL as a league, and everybody from Signal TV, I'm Boom Gonzalez, and we'll see you next conference. Thanks for joining us for the All-Filipino Conference of your Heart of Volleyball, the Premier Volleyball League.